Hello, good morning from the Yorkshire Dales. It's an absolutely beautiful autumnal day today. The sun's shining, but it is a bit cold. And that's why today we're going to continue with our October warmers and comforters. My name's Martin Carrick. And my wife, Julie, is operating the camera again today. Morning. We're the authors of a book called Losing It, which details how together we lost 12 stones between us. I lost five stones and my wife, Julie, lost seven stones. This recipe I'm going to do today is in this book and it's called Pepper Fry. It's a South Indian dish. Uh, which probably has its roots somewhere uh, in Portugal. It uh, contains very few ingredients, and this is this is the recipe in the book here. Uh, it's traditionally done with beef, and I'll just put that down for a minute. It's traditionally done with beef, but I've been experimenting, and, it, and I've done it today with vegetables. So these are the ingredients that's in it, apart from the vegetables. So as you can see, there's very little. There's an onion, an onion here, uh, fresh ginger, tin of tomatoes, turmeric, pepper, which is a lot of it in. There's two teaspoons of pepper in that, and that's the only heat there is, and salt. So there's no curry powder, no garlic, nothing else, that's it. And then this pan here, one I've done earlier. So what happens is you you saute your onion until in olive oil, coconut oil or ghee until that's nicely golden brown and then you throw in a good sized piece of ginger probably that that little that big knob there which has all been crushed or grated and then you put your turmeric in which is a teaspoon of turmeric as I say two teaspoons of coarsely ground black pepper and that's that's what creates the heat along with the ginger. Then you put in your tin of tomatoes. At this stage, you don't put any water in it and you actually fry that sauce until it becomes really thick and you can start to see the oil forming in between it. Then you add your salt and your pepper and then you add a tin of water from the tin of the tomatoes you used. And then if you're using meat, you put your beef in, which you use a kilo of beef, so it'll serve four to six people. Or you can put four to six chicken thighs in, or some turkey, or you, I, we've even tried it with pork. But today we've, we've gone vegetarian or vegan. And in here there's a, one head of cauliflower, one head of broccoli, uh, a couple of carrots I found in the um, free, uh, fridge. There's um, some, obviously, the fried onions, and basically that's it. But what I've done is I've cooked the sauce first, and I've cooked the vegetables separately, so it avoids them all going to one great big mush. So once the sauce is cooked, and that's reduced down to a nice thick sauce, and the vegetables have softened, you combine the two, and this is the end result. And it's actually really, really tasty. You can eat this on its own, or you can have it with some roast chicken, or you can sprinkle some um, toasted almonds, slivered almonds on top of it, or sprinkle some hemp seed on top of it. Pine nuts. Or some pine nuts if you want to keep it vegan. Uh, or vegetarian, you can chop up some feta cheese, or some Indian cheese. Paneer. Paneer, that's it, paneer. Uh, and that'll, that'll make it vegetarian for you. But it's actually very, very nice just on its own. And that's basically it. As you can see, very few ingredients, but a really, really tasty dish. So anyway, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today uh, and you want to buy one of our books, you can contact us via uh, our email address, which is juliamartinlosing at gmail.com. And if you want to see any more recipes uh, or any further information about the food we eat, that you can watch us on YouTube and if you subscribe to our channel and hit the little notific bell notification at the side you'll get notifications of new recipes which we post every week and, and that's it thank you very much and goodbye for me bye bye